Welcome y'all. We have Zesty again. Hi. Yeah. Okay, we are at the uh we're at the Goodwill Bins again today. And uh unfortunately, yet again, they have let people in early. So we are gonna go across write the a strongly worded letter. Okay, yeah, we're gonna write a strongly worded letter <laughs> and uh get in here and find some stuff hopefully. All right, did find a game club or midnight club, but found a game find right off the bat. And unfortunately, it literally has a. How does this happen? It's like somebody cut through the disc. That's very unfortunate, man. All right, well, rest in peace, midnight club. All right, but are we gonna get? Okay, we're not gonna get motocross mania either. That's a really clean case, though. We'll take it for a case swap at very minimum. Bars of soap, y'all. I did get this tailor-made head cover, so let's go. I only got two books. Odyssey of Homer, which looked older, and then some like basically college course book that looks like it might have some value. Is so, Queen, uh, Daily Journal. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. That's interesting that they ever had that. All right, let's keep looking. We're not starting off too hot for sure. This one got a couple things, though. So. All right, y'all. I found some weird, odd things in my time, but I've never found a stethoscope inside the bins. It definitely looks vintage. It definitely looks cool, and I love that it has the box. So. This is really neat. This is really, really neat. Hey, sweetheart. Look at this. Stethoscope. Isn't that cool? Oh, wow. It's got to be worth something, right? Yeah. I uh, wonder if you could clean those. Yeah, for sure. Oh, crayons. Really cool. Obviously not this one. Yeah. But I wonder if people like buy stuff like that, if we lot them up, you know, or something. I don't know. It's kind of neat. So this Dell monitor actually looks more modern. On the modern side, um, it has HDMI out, which is always a good sign, uh, DVI as well, but yeah, no power cord that I can see of, but these are pretty generic. So we're gonna go ahead and at the very minimum, see what this thing is worth. It looks pretty clean too. It just needs a little, uh, yeah, just needs a little wipe down. I picked up this live bait aerator because it was running. It was literally just vibrating in the, uh, in the bin, but uh, I mean, maybe 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks. I'm, I'm sure of it. All right, guys, we got another etch a sketch on our hands. This one, I don't know. Again, like, I think it is the 505, but yeah, we'll go ahead and look that up. It definitely could be good. It definitely looks like it has some age to it, so heck yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh, okay, a little Jordan. A little Jordan. I like it. I like it. Heck yeah. It's a little mongrel. Yeah, I, I don't know how you felt about the outside, but the insides look pretty clean. I will still want to do an experiment of like... Where's our card at? Over here. Oh. <laughs> I still want to do an experiment of like how to clean that. Okay. Um, yeah. Look what I found. <laughs> That's cool. That'll look great in the collection. Look, it has like a... It's intact and everything. Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. So Dan got here a little late. Uh, that's okay though. We're still scouring books at this point. Uh, we kind of switched gears and didn't really feel the GM that much. So, uh, but we're, we're just kind of doing a lot of homework today. Uh, got some Marvel stuff here, uh, Star Trek, Mandalorian sealed, uh, complete season one and two there. So should be okay. I mean, we're just kind of digging through what people didn't want today. So not mad about it. We're just doing a bunch of homework. This'll do, this'll do. Let's go. They're so old. This is 1962. Cool. Those definitely look cool. And then this. Awesome. I feel good about those for sure. Mm -hmm. And we have a ton more left here to scan. So like I said, guys, this is definitely turning into a, uh, this is definitely turning into a book research sort of, sort of haul. Um, let's, let's start scanning. So we've been real iffy on the book so far, but we did strike dirt, pay dirt with this Mandalorian season one and two sealed. So that was cool. Uh, we got 36 free, 24 free, 44 free, 45 with three, uh, 30 free, 39 best offer, 38 free, 
So yeah, we should do pretty good on this Mandalorian. I didn't think it was going to be crazy like that. I thought maybe 15, well, maybe 20. Well, you know 20. why? It's because it's on Disney Plus only, and they didn't, it was not originally on DVD. Right, that's so right. That's probably why. Yeah, that's probably why, yeah. So, cool find there. So, uh, you know, there's like a little number right here. It says Tupperware, and it's got the little number with a dash. You just type that in, and then you find out what you're looking at, and it's a Tupperware set. And you see there's like little, oops, sorry. There's little like lids and they, you can even like a mustard pump like for ketchup and mustard. That's kind of cool. That's probably why we have a red and a yellow one. They're ketchup and mustard. It's too bad that that one's cracked, There's but we, one. could keep, we could keep the red and the yellow maybe. Yeah, I say put the brown ones back. Keep the red and yellow. Yeah. They're That's cool. That's cool. I didn't know that they made them. I didn't every, either. Every day I learn more about Tupperware. Yeah. Unfortunately, those are a dime a dozen. <laughs> you or you can put it in here. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> so all you had to Harry Potter, you know, you want the six cassettes. Oh, okay. maybe. It's definitely worth a scan. They're cassettes, so I saw cassettes. Yeah, that would be cool. definitely worth a scan. Unfortunately, no. Not the direct? Not the direct, no. No. Sears are back. Yep, throw back. But everything in there is brand new. Oh. Packaging. Oh, like to make it? I've never heard of the, of the brand, but it's definitely worth a scan. Okay, cool. Yeah, that can go in. Uh, this was. Oh, it's for a 3D molding machine. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. This was brand new, unopened. Did I you mean, find those here? Minecraft, anything. That's crazy. crazy. Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, found this. These will definitely sell in the booth, right? Or no? Am I? Am I just? Am I? They're like little loot bags for like a, a, a kids party. I mean, you can. You, you probably get them at Walmart. Yeah, maybe not then. But yeah, eh. I mean, we sell Minecraft stuff all the time. <laughs> this guy here. I think this is the one where you snap your phone onto there. Okay. The actual, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oculus brand. No, that's. That's good. That's yeah. good. Because if it's actually Oculus brand, that's worth taking a gander at for sure. Yeah, a little webcam. Didn't know if it was anything. Maybe. Well, is Logitech. it a Logitech? Yeah. Okay, then it's definitely worth looking up, but it looks like it's an older model just off the rip. So, yeah. but yeah, definitely worth looking up. Definitely worth looking up on that too. So, this is what I call so far. Heck yeah. Definitely still some stuff out there. We're going back here. Okay. Okay, so not a bad sell through rate on the Dell monitor. Mm -hmm. um, about. 50 bucks on average. Uh, I think that we're gonna keep it for Zesty, and if Zesty doesn't like it for whatever reason, we'll probably sell it. But those nice speakers. It does have some speakers up top too, which is good. There is no like real scratches. I mean, the the, the outside plastic is a little iffy, but. But no, I, when I feel that, it doesn't feel like a scratch. It just feels like yeah, a it's more surface smudge thing. Yeah, more. So yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I think it's pretty decent, and uh, we'll get them to weigh this. Uh, individually as well and then like i said i just That's a basic power power, power cord. cord is pretty basic yep yeah exactly so i think we're i think we're gonna take it i think we're gonna take it so i found these raggedy ann books sold it they don't have a barcode or isbn number um i searched this one on ebay and i found three sold listings a six a 10 and a 15 and so i'm thinking either nabiar goes and trades them in for those uh grails or I could easily see him sell the two as a lot for a good chunk of change, you know, a nice $20, $25 bill on eBay. So not bad for like 25 cents by the inch. So on our vintage stethoscope, I couldn't find the exact brand of, I guess you'd call that Cyta, but uh, there was a fair amount sold of vintage stethoscopes just overall. There was 69 sold last 90 days. You had a seven with six, 20 with uh, five. There was one for 110, but that was a professional electronic one. Uh, 27 with seven, 25 best offer with seven, 30 on a bid with 12. Some of these are definitely like nicer too, but you know, at the end of the day, I see like, I see around a $20 bill on this, especially because like I said, it comes with this nice little box and everything. So yeah, I think it's cool. We'll definitely get probably, I would hope at least at very minimum 15, 20 bucks. All right, guys, 4687 today. I mean, if we do end up selling the monitor, that'll cover everything that we got in here. Really kind of a bread and butter haul today. Ton of books, ton of glassware. We got some stuff for our wedding. Um, what? But yeah, so feeling pretty good. What? I'm just telling the people that we got some stuff for our wedding. I did. I, I picked <laughs> this up. That's about it. 
Um, yeah, not a crazy haul today for sure. No, but mostly books. I think we tried really hard with books just to see if we could either flip them or try to sell them online. It's it's more about the it is about quality, but it's also more about the quantity of books, and that's just a lot. And I we don't do well with books right now, so I think that we're today was kind of okay but obviously you, you can tell that we have yeah a lot. we have a we have a lot to go through so we'll, we'll be okay with a smaller haul I, I'm, uh, I'm not mad about I'm it I'm not mad about it either yeah also let's not forget our like $35 DVD that will get us the majority of this back too that's so right that's 35 40 bucks heck yeah hi I'm looking for an extremely beautiful woman who loves thrifting Guys, I lost a Zesty and I lost a Dan and I'm alone now. <laughs> I had some time to kill, so I just decided, heck it, I'm going back to the bins. And uh, I stopped here at Salvation Army because I had some time to kill, so let's go see what we can find up in here. It's been a very long time since I found a TI-84 in a regular store. And we just found one for four bucks. Let's go. All right, it feels like it needs batteries. Yeah, really clean, just needs batteries. Let's go. I just don't remember this store having such a big glass selection, but we just found a Pokemon Squirtle uh, glass. And I know I've come across these before and have sold them before. Um, but we're looking pretty good though. Uh, let's see, 20 with 12. There was four that went for four, it's weird. Uh, a set that went for 15, a single that went for 25 free, 16 was six, another single, 30 free, 15 best offer, 19 best offer, 20 free, 23 free. So yeah, we should do pretty good on this Pokemon glass for 2.99. I'm surprised they even priced it that high. So, but at 2.99 still, we're, we're a player. All right, $6.98 later, I'm feeling pretty dang good about these two items. I mean, it's it's been a while since I have scored from here, especially like considerably scored, not just bread and butter items. So super happy to do that. Um, you know, I, I always preach that this, this place is so close to the bins and uh, I don't come here often enough the, even though you know so it feels good uh both of these items should well pay for what we got even from the bins today uh but speaking of we're going to go over there we're going to hit a three o'clock rotation i'm all alone like i said so wish me luck i'm going to go probably just for media just for some trade-ins and hopefully some game scores that'd be nice but uh, we'll see what happens they just let everyone in like 15 minutes early, which is wild to me. We're like, I'm like one of the only people in the media right now. And hopefully I can capitalize on this because like I said, there's just not anyone here. I really haven't been finding much. There's a Blu-ray. All right, trade fodder right there for sure. We got some books for scanning. Is it a sealed Fast and Furious right now? That kind of looks like a reseal. No, we'll check it out, we'll check it out. Also, the day can't get bad if we're finding Ninja Turtles. I have this one, but again, like, I love that I can just find this and, uh, you know, give it back to somebody that can, uh, that can enjoy it as well. Instead of it sitting in a bin. There's some, okay, we're getting some sealed VHS, but not a lot. Nothing that looks crazy so far, anyway. X-Files, I always go back and forth on X-Files, so we'll go ahead and take it anyway. Why not? Yes, a lot of you just just go around, but uh, no games. All right, continuing the little manga train from earlier. We like to see that. This one looks like to be in pretty good shape. It might need just to have a heavy book set on the top of it so this folds down again. But heck, yeah, I don't recognize the anime, but that doesn't matter. We'll still either trade it in or sell it in the booth. I've never uh, seen this SpongeBob Halloween little special sort of VHS, so we're going to go ahead and grab that for sure. I mean, again, like this is going to be, you know, four to five dollar bill in the booth. But hey, if we get a bunch of those. We're good. Uh, also, this uh, Ina uh, cookbook. She's uh, she's pretty popular, right? You guys know uh, this book actually was OK. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. So you guys have been seeing these shelves the past, you know, couple videos or whatever. Um, they're actually only 10 bucks. They're super heavy and super sturdy. And Zesty and I kind of want them for the booth, but we don't have any way to transport them right now anyway i guess i could come back with 
my my Papa Navyar's truck, you know, and uh, and come grab these at ten bucks a piece. I mean, they're kind of modular too, you know, as you guys can see. I mean, yeah, this might have to happen tomorrow, or maybe Sunday or Monday, depending. But these things are nice. And also, while it sits here, it is perfect for sorting items <laughs> after you pick them because we're in a bag today or a bag for this run anyway, so works out good. Got the Fast and the Furious original cover because I keep seeing the special edition cover. I found the original cover sealed. It is sealed, but it's got this little scratch up here that went through the plastic, so I'm kind of on the fence on it. I'm probably still going to go ahead and list it. Maybe we can get 15 to 20 out of it. I mean, there were a couple listings or a couple sold comps on these that were like, yeah, like I said, around 15 to 20. So we'll still go ahead and grab it. Well, guys, the haul got pretty much brought down to this. Um, pretty small. Uh, we got the anime on the bottom. We have a couple books that we're going to try to sell on Amazon. I know like Zesty and I, especially Zesty, has been working on like, you know, trying to sell some on Amazon and seeing if it's worth it or just trying to see what books are worth our time as well as our energy to, you know, pack them up and ship them. So we've been working on that and it's, it, we're slowly getting there, but these books all had really good Amazon sales ranks. So we're going to go ahead and keep those. These were all like around 20,000, except for this flipping out book. Um, this flipping out book had like a good sales price of like 17 to 20 dollars, but the sales rank was up there. I think it was like over 500,000 or something like that. So not terrible, but you know, for that price, we might hang on to it. These two are going on eBay. These little, uh, these, these Star Wars, uh, storybooks. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the third one. There's a, it's a three set, but, uh, I still think these two will, will get us about 10 bucks or so. So happy about that. Um, some VHS to throw into the booth, uh, some trade fodder in Get Shorty Blu-ray, Jimi Hendrix is going to be a trade fodder as well, and the Fast and the Furious is really kind of the, the question mark, the sealed Fast and the Furious, so, alright, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Alright y'all, it's $3.66 today, even if we didn't have the questionable Fast and the Furious uh, sealed VHS, I say that's still pretty good number for that amount of haul. I would say that even if we took every single book to half price books, we'd probably still make out at $3.66. I actually think that's that's maybe what we do. Uh, if we, you know, if we're feeling not like dipping into the whole world of Amazon book reselling, uh, if any of you guys do sell on Amazon, uh, book wise, please let us know down below. Please, just, please let us know like what app is good. What sales rank is good. I mean, I have a pretty good idea. I think Zesty does too, but we're learning. We're learning and, uh, we hope you guys learned too. And if you did hit that like button down below, hit that sub button. If you want to see similar content, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us at the Goodwill bins today and we'll see you later on the next grab.